Hey friends, what's going on? Kater here on a beautiful, beautiful day, my friends. So we're gonna have another in the car conversation today. So as I'm taking this ride today, guys, I'm making this video in the car. We're gonna be talking about how to make money online. We're gonna keep it in the series on how to make money online. Um, 2017 this year but we're gonna be talking about consulting okay how to make money online consulting I mean that's one of the ways that I create income for my business consulting with different businesses now there's a couple of different aspects to consulting now, if you're gonna do this right for 2017 there's a couple different aspects and I want to touch on both of them okay now I created a course that goes more into deeper um, into this thing called the ultimate cash flow process. I'll put the link in the description if you want more information on that, um, on how I do my consulting. Put this a little bit higher. Hopefully you guys can hear me. Okay, so with consulting, it's when you're using your time, okay, to teach somebody else how to do some things. Okay, that's, that's all it is, right? You have some experience, you have some knowledge on how to do certain things. So you consult with different people on how you can help them by leveraging your time okay so you're becoming a coach so they're gonna be doing it but you're just gonna coach them on how they could do it on how they could do it better okay now how can you plan the game for this year for you to start making money online consulting okay first you can consult like I personally if you have any skill set okay you have any skill set if you know how to build a business you can have a consulting fee where you charge people. Um, I don't know what you're gonna get started with, how you're gonna set up your fees. It all depends on how much it is worth to you. So if you don't know, understand pricing and stuff like that, in that program, I go more into pricing on how to price yourself. But when I first started my first consulting program, I was charging people $200 per hour, okay? So it was $200 per hour for me to consult them. So it wasn't like a contract. It wasn't on a monthly basis. It wasn't like, oh, I'm gonna work with you for five months. It was just one hour of my time, I charge you $200 and I help you. So it was mostly focused towards business owner, people that's trying to build a business on the internet. They need my help, maybe building their first funnel. They need my help to build a capture page. Maybe I can critic their blogs or stuff like that, okay? So that's when I first got started and I was making side hustle money, okay? And then, I started to realize that I can create, people started asking me like, okay, I need more time. They started asking me, I wanna work with you because it was, you know, from, from the one hour they would spend with me, I would teach them some stuff that, you know, take the business to the next level. So the decision they started making was, well, I wanna work with you for like two months. Like, how can I work with you for two months? And you know, so you can provide me more quick, more information on how I can take my business to the next level. So that's when I created a coaching program. But here's what happened. I didn't know what the heck I was gonna put in there. I had no blueprint. You know, I just knew that I wanted to help people, but I didn't want it to be for free. Like right now, this video you guys are watching is for free. So I love making these videos and they help people. That's cool. But if I'm gonna spend time with you looking at your business, I could have been spending time in my business, right? And, and working stuff out and making stuff happen for myself. If I'm gonna take the time off of my business to coach other people to help them with their business, I needed to be compensated for it. But I didn't know what was I gonna put inside after the person buy the consulting. What do I provide them? How do I structure it? See, a lot of you right now, you have skill set. You already have the first part of consulting you know you have skill set that you can teach other people on how to do now the second thing is how do you how do you structure it you know what question do you ask how what do you have to have a um do you need a back office you know how do you get the back office how do you set it up no that's, that's the basic and once you set that part up the next stage is coming it's all about questioning your customer what they need because really what you're really doing is help them based on their needs, not on what you think is good for them, but based on what they want for themselves. That's why if you acquire enough skill set, okay, so you gain yourself enough skill set, it's not gonna be a problem for you to consult with companies because you know how to do certain things or with people. So first, you're gonna have to have certain type of skill set. And the thing with skill set, it can always be learned. 
Like a lot of people feel like I have to be in the game for years in order for me to start consulting. It's not that true, right? Can you be a newbie and and consult with other people? Yes, you can, but you need to have the skill set. Like if you're gonna consult people on their funnel, you need to learn how to build a funnel. So you need to go to the trenches, whether you're gonna pay for a course and learn how to build a funnel, and then go out there and experience with different funnels. And now you can see what's working. You can go in there, you can see if a capture page is converting at 35%, what are the choices of words that I can use, right? Choices of words like secrets, discover how I did, you know, three secrets. Let's say someone was putting the capture page and, and on the capture page, all they were saying was, um, Put your name and your information, okay? So you can get more information. Put your name so you can get more information. It's not that captivating. Now, if you go and learn on how to create a capture page, what are the words that sells? Here's a book that you can read. Word that sells. It's a powerful book. If you understand wording, like instead of having a blank capture page, or instead of saying, put your information here so you can receive more details, just blank that on the capture page. How do you put a call to action and what are the words to use like on a capture page three simple secret to increase your lead flow to 10,000 by the end of this month 10,000 leads boom that's a call to action and it has you know it has um, words that sells inside of it you know and you have actionable factor word that has actionable factors that's gonna get increase your your conversion so it's all about converting so if you can help if you can do that for yourself now and you learn how to split test two capture pages, see what works better, now you start acquiring leads and you had one capture page that was getting 35% conversion rate and you make some tweak, you make some change, you are able to get that capture page to start creating 45% um, conversion. So now you have a skill set and you do it, you have a skill set. I spoke with someone earlier a couple of days ago, I gave a formula, and they said the one part that we're, that we're missing in the formula is the practice, because they wanted to go teach the stuff that they learned without practice, and it's a it's a formula for failure, because if you have consulting student, and you don't know what the heck you're talking about, it's hard for you to help them, right? Because you need someone that know what they're doing, right? So the key is, this formula is called the LDTD formula. Learn some, do some, teach some, and do some more for mastery. So you learn the process, okay, you go out there, some people skip that part, doing. You gotta go out there and do it so you can create results for yourself, right? You learn some, you do some, you create some results for yourself, and then you go teach it. This is where you could do product lunches, you can, you know, you could do your own consulting, you could do stuff like that. So you can teach other people how to do it. And then you keep doing it, you know, which is doing some more so that you can master the process. Because once you master the process now, you become, you start getting mastery level type of money because, you know, once you master the process, you can literally charge people more money because you know what the heck you're doing. You know, just by sitting with them for a couple of hours, you can detect what they're doing wrong because you you know the process. You can detect what they're doing wrong and you tell them, boom, this is the change that you gotta make and boom, they start seeing better results just by spending that hour with you. But you have to be able to have skill set in order for you to do that so that that hour is not a wasted time. So I hope that makes sense. Does that make sense to you? Leave a comment below. Leave an, um, a comment below. Let me know if that makes sense to you, okay? So this is how you can make money in 2017. Create a consulting program. Do you have anything that you know how to do? Do you know how to create a Facebook fan page? Do you know how to drive some traffic? Do you know how to set up an e-commerce store? Do you know how to... You know, um, there's so many ways. Do you know how to make YouTube videos? Do you know how to set up YouTube videos? Do you know how to um, rank YouTube videos? Do you know how to rank blog? Any type of service that you know how to do, you can set up a consulting program where you can consult for um, for actual businesses or actual as a personal business and uh, persons, right? That's building their business that you can provide service to. That's the first part of consulting. Now, the second part of consulting, which is very, very powerful, and I love it, and I love it. Right now, we have anywhere between, I'll say, 36 businesses we picked up last year that we actually built their website, their e-commerce site, and we outsourced most of it, and now we're getting paid every month. And we're getting paid every month. We run their ads for three months, and then after that, we give it to them. So we charge them $5,000 a month, they pay for the ads, they pay for the stuff, and then boom, 
we make the money in the back end. This is the people that you want to deal with. Okay, that's the people that's going to increase your business. Like some of you right now, you can start consulting for your local neighborhood businesses. Why is more powerful than just people that are trying to make a quick buck on the internet? Businesses has what well, they have what's called cash flow. Okay, they have revenue, profit, they have cash flow, they have people coming in that's buying stuff from them. So more likely they have money set aside for advertising. They just don't know how to do it or they need someone with the skill set on how to do it. Let, let's say for example, for yourself, you don't e-commerce, you're struggling, or you don't have money to do your own ads, but you have the skill set, you understand how to do it. Maybe you went to a program, you know how to place an ad, you know how to drive traffic, you understand how to find the right target, you understand how to pick out the target, find your right audience, you understand you know, who's your audience size, what's the size of the audience, how to target those people, you understand conversion, you understand pixel, you understand all that terms, all the crazy jargon that we use. But let's say you have no capital, you have no cash flow and other for you to create income for yourself. I don't want you to stay stuck there. Like a lot of people, what happened, they have the skill set, but they don't have no money to actually create income for themselves. They just dabble into something else or they go get a job or they do something else that is completely opposite to what the skill set they have. What you could do at that moment, if you know how to do e-commerce, this is a tip for you e-commerce people that's probably struggling, but you don't have the money to advertise. You cannot scale up your, your, your budget. You cannot scale up your campaign. You cannot have a high budget. What you need to do, you need to make a list of all the stores in your city, okay? All the local mom pap, you know, people that has clothes, people that are selling toys, people that are selling video games, people that are selling anything that they are selling. You know, those stores in your neighborhood, in your community, in your city, write them all down, okay? Write them all down. What you're gonna do, you're gonna break down a service for them that you can offer them, okay? You're gonna create a service plan. Now, there's gonna be a couple of sheets that you're gonna need when you go to meet up with businesses is you don't wanna go over there and look like, you know, you don't know what the heck you're talking about. Remember, those people, Right now, if you're watching my video, if you spend some time on my YouTube channel, on the information that I share with you, you have more knowledge than those people, I promise you. And I think that happens to me in the beginning when I started doing outside consulting, because I start meeting with people that's making way more money than me. They have businesses fully that's running offline, that's making way more money than me. Sometimes I'll downgrade myself, or in my mind I think, oh, this person's making more money than me. So my confidence wouldn't shine. So what I want you to base your confidence in when you walk then into a setting where you're trying to close a client that has an offline business so that they can make a deal with you, so you can start running the campaign, maybe build a store for them, or start getting them traffic or leads. I don't want you to think about the amount of money that the client is making or whatever the amount of money they have or how the business is going well. I want you to start thinking about the reason why you're here. It's, it's the skill set. You're not being judged based on the fact that they're making more money than you. And I'm sharing that with you because it's one of the things, one of the blockages that I had in my mind I had to overcome. You're not being judged based on the fact that you don't have money to run your campaign. You are being judged on the fact that you have skill set that they don't have. See, outside businesses, they have, they're not doing everything, okay? If someone is running a store, they more likely they have a clerk, they have a cashier, they have someone that's gonna take care of the customer when they come in, they have someone that's gonna go work in the fitting room. They have different parts of the business. So the manager can be the same person that, you know, that, that, that opens the store. He can't be the same person that actually, you know, doing the cashier, doing everything else. Or if you're the owner of the store, they hire specific people for that reason. So if your skill set is going to give them an online presence, first thing you ask them, a couple of questions. Do you guys have a Facebook fan page? Do you guys have a YouTube account? Do you guys have an Instagram account? You know, those are, you start creating a data plan, okay? If you go to Google right now, just write, search for business, you know, business data plan, okay? Social media, business data plan. So you're gonna see, find many different, many different ones that you can actually use when you go there and ask them a few questions. And if they already at, if they already have an Instagram, they already have a Facebook fan page, you know, cause some business now, they already to that level, they catch up. But the goal is the results that you're gonna bring them. So if they already have them, if they don't have them, great, you can close them on the fact that, well, you need one. And this is why your competitor is getting all the money. Like, you know, um, 
the, the shop down the street, they have all of that stuff. You don't. They get the online clients, and the only reason why you're not making, you can 10x, you can triple your, your profit by next month if you have these things. If you're missing on the online boom that's happening right now, everybody's going to the internet to buy their clothes, to buy their shoes, to buy their cat, um, whatever, whatever you would be selling, whatever that store would be selling. So, so you create that demand, okay? You create that demand, and then boom, you create that, um, what should I say? You spike the, 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 the interest with that by referring, and it could be like you don't even know the data of the other business, that's cool, but you know, in fact, even if it's not the business down the street, but what about Amazon? What about eBay that are killing them because they have customers buying stuff online? So the reason I'm saying that you wanna use a business that's close to them because it's more relatable to them. Because remember, someone who owns a store, they don't have time to be online and comparing themselves to Amazon and eBay and see what's happening in the internet world like you are, but you do. So you can use that information and bring that to perspective to them, okay? And then once you do that, boom, you can close the sale. You can close the deal. So if they say, okay, I already have all that stuff. Well, the goal is, okay, now you're not selling. Are you selling currently? Are you currently Are you currently selling online? You know, if they're not making any online sales, the goal is, okay, I can drive more traffic. You know, if you have a budget, test me out. You know, you can actually set them on a, on a, on a test trial with you, but make sure they pay for all the advertising. And if they, if you can make them sales, you're gonna be able to secure the job by, you know, five thousand dollars a month. You know, five thousand dollars a month. You run the campaign, you run the Facebook, you run the social media. You become a social media manager, or you become an advertising person where you advertise for the company. So that's consulting for offline businesses. Now, when you're consulting for offline businesses, there are a couple of key points that you're gonna have to know. Okay, making phone calls, you need to be able to pass the gatekeeper. Okay, the gatekeeper, they not the business owner. They annoying as hell to you. But as a business owner, they need them so that their time could be more valuable. Because if you're a business owner, you don't want to be talking to everybody that wants to speak with you, right? You want to talk. Oh, I'm actually going to the bank. I got to pick up some money here. But you want to talk to the people who are most um, relevant to the people that can actually help you take your business to the next level. But how do you find those people with everybody calling, trying to pitch you their opportunity or their stuff? That's why when you have the gatekeeper, what you really want to do, right, to overcome the gatekeeper, there's a couple of different strategies that you can apply, okay? Um, one of them is to be annoying, just as they are. Just be annoying, call them um, 10 times, 14 times. I have businesses, we close them on the 15th call because we couldn't get through to the gatekeeper. We close them after being so annoying because you're, if you're so annoying, they're going to say, hey, you know what? I give up. I quit. And they're going to get you to the person that you want to speak to. And the main question that you want to ask that person is that, hey, I can bring you more traffic and leads. Who doesn't want more traffic and leads? Who doesn't want more sales inside of the business? Okay, can we set a time that together I can show you the plan exactly on how I can bring your presence online or I can 10x the amount of traffic you guys are bringing to your website right now. I have some strategy that's working. Matter of fact, I can get you to test it this week. When is the best time to be talking to you this week? When is the best time I can come in for a quick appointment with you, you know? And another thing that I find that's very helpful when you're calling companies, do some research. Like, find out everything that you can find out about the company even before you call them. Like, if it's a big company, if it's a little bit major, they start having the information online. Like, you can literally go to them and say, hey, um, I see that you're trying to grow this company to a $2 million this year. Last year, you guys made $1.4 million and your your stocks are dropping down. Uh, my goal is that when I come in, I can bring you more sales and I can bring you up by 2% in your stocks and I can bring your revenue up by 40%. If you already know the data, they're gonna be so shocked and so surprised like oh my god like this guy already know everything about the company and it's an extra plus for you okay we're consulting with different offline businesses um you know and you want to set them on a reoccurring income you know so that way you're not just working just once you keep making money so if you're gonna set them on a five thousand dollars a month reoccurring which is gonna be great for you um if it's gonna be a two thousand dollars a month where you manage this stuff and they pay for all the, the traffic and all that stuff, 
and all the um, all the tools and stuff like that you can run it that way but it's one of the best way for you to create passive income for yourself so what you could do now the reason I'm saying guys you can charge those prices is because you want to learn outsourcing if you're gonna do offline consulting you know you're gonna learn how to outsource to other people like I never create no stores but I have a couple of people I have a team of designer people who know coding and all that stuff they can create a store on the spot like you know once I get a job you know I hire them for like 700 bucks boom they create some of the nicest page some of the nice most customer interactive store and I don't have to do it that's why you need to learn how to leverage using website like Upwork freelancer.com you guys can really take yourself to a whole next level this year you know anyway guys I hope this was some type of value to you um, I'm gonna keep this series going on different ways you can actually make money online I'm also gonna put um, I put a playlist together of ways that you can make money online in 2017 I put the the link to the playlist um, in the description you can check out the playlist I give you different ways Amazon Shopify different pl places so I'm gonna keep updating the playlist as I make more videos on ways that I'm currently creating income for my business and on ways you can create income for your business and take yourself to the next level if you do find value in this video please like share if you have any comments if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment below um, share this video with a friend let other people know so there's two ways you can actually go into consulting you can consult for online people okay you where you do your consulting through Skype or you can use a webinar platform like go to webinar and you get everybody together you consult them all at once because more likely people have similar questions um, and then and then you charge them a fee whether it's gonna be you know five thousand dollars um, whether it's gonna be a six months program for 20 G's you could do that um, if it's gonna be uh, you know maybe charge them per hour if it's gonna be something you start per hour it's a thousand bucks per hour you could do that so you can consult online now when you go into offline you can consult for different offline businesses by helping them create more value and increase their presence on the internet because you have the skill set so number one thing you got to learn how to do it you got to learn how to do certain things so that you can create the skill set and if you create the skill set now you're just lacking on capital you're lacking on funding your target should be the people with capital and funding and more likely is the offline businesses those people they have cash flow they have customers they have revenue you can target those people and they can help you take yourself to the next level. All right, Cater? All right, guys, that was Cater, no quitters. I appreciate you guys. Let's take ourselves, our business, our lives to a whole next level. I appreciate you guys. I'll see you guys on the next one. See you guys later. Bye.